Hey, greetings from Texas. Okay, today we're going to do a chili review of Red Eye Chili Kit. Now, I normally make my chili from scratch. I don't use uh, these mixes, but this intrigued me because I found it at our local grocery store, and this product is made just down the road here in Florence, Texas. So, um... Because this is a review, I want to follow the original directions. Let's take a look at this. So here's our seasoning packet. Red Eye Original Chili Blend. So it says, uh, Red Eye Chili Blend, a bit of history. This chili seasoning was created in Vernon, up on the banks of the Red River in North Texas. Red Eye Chili Blend was a result of AC Crit Hill's long experience as a restaurateur and gourmet cook. It flavored many a bowl of red in Hill's Cafe, a popular place to eat in Vernon in the 1940s. Six generations later, we still use it exclusively and plan to keep the recipe alive for the family. Repeated requests for the seasoning from everyone who tastes chili made with it to spark the determination to share it with other chili lovers. It's made from the best ingredients. Red Eye makes the makes great tasting chili, not firing hot, not fiery hot unless you decide to fire it up. But with just enough heat so you know you're eating real chili. It's unique taste, one we're sure you'll enjoy. Once you've used Red Eye, other chili seasonings don't quite measure up. And um, here's the address in Florence, Texas. You can order it the old-fashioned way or go to their website, redeyechili.com. Here are the ingredients and the cooking instructions. And you can pause it. Okay, we have our 10 cloves of garlic, minced. We've got two green peppers, diced, and one medium onion, diced. Okay, we have uh, two tablespoons of avocado oil. Now we need to add our onion. Need to add our garlic. And now we're gonna add our green chili. And the onions are soft. And then we add our tomatoes. And add three cups of water. And now we're gonna add our chili mix. Okay, we got it going. Let's uh, cover. I'm gonna turn that off. And we're gonna place it in this uh, 350 degree oven for one hour. Oh, we forgot one thing. We forgot to add our salt, our crushed red pepper. Okay, here we go. Um, my first impression is it's a little watery, the three cups of water. I think you can get by with two. What do you think? a little cheese on it. And we'll dip our tortilla. I think it's a little watery to me. Yeah. Okay, so I strained the chili and um, that's how much water we have left. So the three cups for me is definitely too much. I would go one and a half cups. Okay, folks, I'm going to give that a thumbs in the middle. Uh, it really didn't pop out at me. The recipe is written with the three cups of water. Just made it too diluted and soupy for me. Um, if I had to make it again, I would go with one and a half cups of water. You saw how much, how liquidy it was after I strained all the solids out. Um, 
for someone who doesn't like spicy chili, this would be a good way to go. Um, but other than that, I'll have the link to their website in the description box. It was okay. Um, I was kind of disappointed, but at least I tried it. All right, I appreciate you stopping by and thanks for watching.